Hey everyone, welcome back to Exalt Tech. I got a few things I'm going to be doing today. I've got... <laughs> I've got a solid state drive, Linux Mint Mate CD that I used in the old ThinkPad, and this Toshiba laptop which I covered the other week. So, you read the title, you saw what I'm talking about, I'm going to try to make this laptop much better by installing an SSD with Linux Mint. Um, hopefully that'll make it run a lot better, even better than it did on Windows 7, and I'm going to be running a little bit of testing to see what can it do um, in terms of better performance uh, with Geekbench, also playing Minecraft and uh, other games a lot better. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get started. Like I mentioned in the previous video, getting into this laptop is very easy. Um, it's a single screw. So right here, it's just one screw, and it... Boom! Now we got the drive, and then it's another screw right here to remove the drive. And it's out. Um, I'm not really going to bother um, taking this thing off because I'm... I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, but I'm just going to install this just right in here. I was inserting it the wrong way. Okay, I think that should be on properly. Hopefully it is. And then we just put the backpack on. And look at that. It's been like what? Um maybe about a minute and we already did uh, a whole um, SSD upgrade and it hasn't even been that much time so next up um, the battery actually might be dead in this so I might have to grab the charger which is somewhere in my room hopefully I don't need a charger good I don't this is actually gonna take a while for me to install because it is a CD um, I'm too lazy to set up a USB, and I already have this, so it's just easier for me to just do a CD. Um, so let's, uh, let's see, why does it have to specify the patents on the boot screen? I don't, I don't get that. Intel. Uh, start Linux with Mate. Alright, look at that, and we're already getting into installing Linux on this thing which will make this the fourth operating system this computer has run in its life. It's run Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Windows 7, and now Linux Mate. Mint Mate, I mean. Um, Alright, blinking thing. That's usually a sign that it is doing something. And here we are. We're on the Linux Mint desktop. Yeah. Um, of course, it's going to be probably a bit slow to install because it is off of a, of a CD. Um... But I'm just going to go straight into the installation. Um, and I thought I needed to... I brought the charger of this laptop out just in case I needed it. But it's at like 95% apparently, so I don't need to. Honestly, this display is not that bad. Um, I remember in, my, in, in the video I made on this the other week, um, I actually did screw up on the dimensions of the screen, it was 1366 by 768, I believe, and, um, I didn't call it that. I called it something else. I don't know what I said, but it wasn't what it actually is. So, um, people corrected me on that. But even though this is only basically the equivalent of a 720p display, this doesn't look bad! This doesn't look like a bad display at all. Like, it's not 1080p. But still, this ain't a bad display. Oh, okay, there we go. Fucking finally. Jesus, look how long that took. Why is there an English Macintosh? What does that even mean? I don't know why anyone would actually deal with like a laptop that's painfully slow. Yeah, sure, I'm in New York. That's totally where I live. Um, oh god, I have to do this shit. Toshiba. Oh, and it just, and because I named it, no, Toshiba, no H. It doesn't deserve an H. And it just named itself after the laptop, which is pretty awesome. I need a password. Can I just make it A? Short password? I don't care. Okay, Toshiba. Do your magic. Okay, cool. 
So it's actually installing now. For reference, it's uh, 3.04 in the morning right now. Um, I'll come back when this is done. Alright, there we go. The installation has finished. Let's restart so we can uh, boot into the operating system. There we go. Alright, there we go. Disk has ejected. Um, I pressed enter. The installation medium's gone. Let me force a restart. Alright, I think it should be booting into it normally now. Mint. Alright, let's hit that desktop. And then, um, oh yeah, I forgot to say how the installation time, it was 3.08 I think, it's now 3.56. I have been waiting for a very long time. Oh, there we go. Alright, it took a, quite a bit to boot up despite the fact that it's using an SSD. Um, probably because it's like first time boot, and also the processor is really slow. Oh, we're in. Yeah, we're in. We're in the Linux Mint. Um, I guess it's time to install some, like, performance stuff. There we are, we're, we're in Linux Mint. Welcome to Linux Mint, alright. I'll be back with uh, testing and stuff. Hey, I'm back. It's the next day. Um, I tried to run Geekbench last night, and it was taking so long I went to bed thinking it'd be done in the morning, but instead the laptop died, so I had to restart all over again. But now it's done. Um, so, let's, so let's see uh, how bad this laptop did on Geekbench 6. As you can see, it did very poorly. This is probably the worst Geekbench 6 score I've ever seen. Uh, 102, 182 is really bad. Um, and to be fair, the processor is, like, absolute crap. And so this is all the stuff I have on my Geekbench account here. Um, and as you can see, um, the Toshiba, with this processor running Linux, scored not, almost 10 times less than the Asus Q550LF on Windows 10. Now, both laptops are from the same year. But also, that has a 4th a gen i7. Obviously, it scored 16 times less than my PC. So, yeah, um, it's not great, but let's test its gaming performance now. So I have the latest version of Minecraft as I'm recording, Minecraft 1.20.6. Um, so far, it doesn't seem to be that bad as it was on Windows 7. Alright, let's just... Oh, it's already lagging. Oh, it's already lagging. Oh my. So, um, I guess even putting Linux on this laptop doesn't really make much of a difference in terms of performance. Um, because even, even though it's running Linux now, um, it's still going to be very very slow because there's only so much this processor can do. Linux only lifts up a bit of the load that Windows used to put on it, but Windows 7 isn't that much of a demanding operating system uh, compared to Linux. It's more of one compared to Windows 10 or Windows 8. Um, let's see, look at that. It's still pretty slow. I, I don't even know if we'll get any decent gaming performance out of in, within the game itself. Um, but as it's seeming right now, it seems like not even Linux can save an old laptop like this. If you had a higher spec laptop from the age, absolutely. But laptops like this, like I said in the last video, they're made to serve a temporary purpose. They're like a burner laptop. You buy it for cheap, use it for something very basic like web browsing or something like that. And then once you're done, you toss it out. That's pretty much what it is. Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting 3 FPS and I have all like the video settings set down to the lowest they can go. Three, I'm getting between 1 and 4 frames. Look at that. Oh, this is almost unplayable. It's, it's actually somewhat playable compared to um, what it was on Windows 7. But this is, this is horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, um, and I've already died. 
<laughs> oh my god, that was very fast. Um, but yeah, very almost unplayable performance, and even the menu... Even the menu is, like, very laggy. <laughs> so what is my consensus on this laptop? Um, it sucks. It's, it was a, it's a, it's an 11 year old budget laptop. It's, there's no question that it's absolute garbage. And the only thing it's good for is internet browsing. And even then, I, it's probably like pretty bad. Let me, let me do a quick test of that. And then we'll wrap this up. Modern unfiltered YouTube. It doesn't even seem like it's loading. Okay, there we go. Okay. It, apparently, YouTube just doesn't even want to try to recommend anything. Because uh, you need to sign in now. You can't just... You know, I'll pull up, I'll pull up my channel. But, um, so far, YouTube actually seems usable on this. Um, YouTube was more use... Uh, yeah, you could totally just watch videos on this. It's not scrolling for some reason. Uh, let's put on, let's put on the video about this laptop. See how good the sound is. Oh boy, an ad. And it's a Mac ad. I'm on Linux. Hey everyone, welcome back to Excel Tech. This is a Toshiba satellite. Original. It automatically defaults to 360p. <laughs> And this and the audio sounds horrible. Released in 2013, this laptop was meant to be a budget laptop, and just like any budget laptop, the original price is way more than a used laptop. With yeah, this this really sucks. <laughs> this experience is horrible. Like this just this feels so sluggish. I mean, Linux does help it quite a lot. So that is my final consensus. Um. The laptop is only slightly better because of Linux, but I still wouldn't rec I still wouldn't even give this laptop to my worst enemy. I mean, if someone absolutely needs a laptop for like doing schoolwork and that's literally it, fine. If you need to type a Word document, make a PowerPoint, you can use something like this. But for the money that you can get for some a laptop like this, even if it was new, like if you were looking for a laptop now, um for college or high school or something, I'd recommend you just get a used ThinkPad. Like, a ThinkPad T40, or, or I mean, T480, which you can get for, like, $200, and is actually a really good laptop, and it's from 2018. Um, but, like, even for the time that this was a thing, this was really sluggish. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's really all I have to say about this laptop. Uh, Linux helps a little bit, but um, processor in this laptop is just bad. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.